It started with my summer trips going down south with my dad. Um, my cousins played basketball. I was actually running track in the beginning. I was waking up at 6 a.m. to go to um, cross country, running in parks, up steps in mud. <laughs> I didn't like it because I had to wake up so early and everyone knows I'm not a morning person. So I went down south and my dad and my cousins used to go to the park, well, in the backyard or the park and shoot basketball. And I thought it was fun. It was something new. And I was like, you know what? I could do this. Coach came <laughs> on her visit. She wore some heels and a trench coat around campus. And I was like, yes. Coach Jax called me while I was on a visit at another school. And <laughs> my dad and the other coach were like having a conversation. And I seen Coach Jax call me and I was just like in shock. And I was like, oh, I have to go really quick. And I called her like, oh, coach, like, thanks for, you know, the offer. I'm going to come down. I was like, but I'm on a visit with another school. She's like, oh, you know, it's okay. Just, you know, stop down on your way home. So I stopped by here at her office at like 8 o'clock at night. And me and her had a conversation. And then from that day, like, she was like, we're going to set everything up. And I was like, okay. So after my senior year of high school, I took a gap year and I was just like kind of deciding if I want to come to US or stay at home and uh, in the middle of like it was around December coach Sa Sunny contacted me that they only have seven players and if I can come but she was like you gotta come in like one week <laughs> then she I talked to coach uh, talked to coach Sunny again and they just said okay just come uh, for summer session and you can just start uh, the school year in fall well, it first started with school and like the environment, the school setting, and definitely like, you know, I want to be like close, but not too close to home. And, you know, my family is very supportive of my decision. So I just went ahead and committed to Siena. My first game, I started and I was surprised. And I was just so nervous. My family came and I was just like, okay, this is my first game. I don't, I don't know what to expect, but I'm just gonna go out there and play my game. And, you know, my team had my back. You know, I didn't feel like a freshman out there, but I was like, you know, my, my team was confident in me, so it just kept me going. Cuba, like, Cuba was great. But a season game, I want to say the Niagara um, game, it wasn't because of my personal accomplishment. It was the fact that, like, Niagara beat us twice that season, and I just knew how much coach wanted to win this game. And it was uh, playoffs, and it was just like, win or go home, and I was just like, Man, like they beat us twice, like we're not losing again. I just want to be remembered as that player that always fought through stuff. Like no matter what, like people on the court never knew what was going on with me. They just knew that I kept pushing hard throughout whatever it was. And I was also that player that was going to compete with them, but also somebody that was very supportive for them. I'm just a tough and strong-minded individual, like, and it carried over to the game and um, outside on the court. I think I want to be remembered as a caring person and somebody who came to Siena older than other players, so it was more mature and um, just people could come to me and talk to me about anything um, with basketball problems, but even with problems of the court. For my poker face. <laughs> Um, just, um, you know, a friend first, you know, I'm always, you know, want to be your friend first and, you know, get to know you and that, you know, shows on the court of just running the point guard position and, you know, directing my team to make great decisions in the game and just being there for them. Hey guys, so my advice for you is to enjoy every moment at Siena because you will, you never know when it's going to be your last day you're going to play. Even though maybe your freshman year didn't go as well, just cherish every moment with your teammates, with your family, with the coaches. Take advantage of every opportunity. And when there's none, make it yourself. Today you may be this person, but you should always try to be better than that person tomorrow. So look at every adversity, every obstacle, every situation, and try to find the light of being better. Like live every day as you know to the fullest and to just you know be happy don't you don't have to be mad about anything so.